welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this rose gold inspired uh, look. And as you can see, it's very girly, it's uh, very gold and pinky toned. And I really think it's a pretty look for maybe a girl's night out or a date night or something really fun like that. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and you can become part of my wonderful YouTube family, which is growing by the day. So thank you all for watching and let me know what you think down below. Um, I'm very, very interested to know uh, what you guys would like to see if there's any looks you'd like me to do any uh, products you'd like me to try Please let me know leave your comments down below um, and I will try my best to um, See to your request so Without further ado, let's get into this video so I first start by prepping my eyes with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I find that using it as an eyeshadow primer makes my eyeshadow last a lot longer. And then I'm just blending it out with a flat foundation brush and I'm taking it all the way up to my eyebrows because I find that it also like sort of scalps your eyebrows. Um, when you do this step and makes your eyebrows stand out a little bit more and uh, then I'm going to be using my Slay for Days uh, Switch Beauty um, Warm Palette and I'm going in with this light brown shade into my crease and just moving it back and forth it's always good to use a matte color in your crease just so that it transitions the eyeshadow uh, much better and it just gives you a much more um, natural look then I'm going to go with a little bit of a darker brown over my crease again just to give my eyes a, a warm natural look I'm then going to use my favorite Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm going to go in with the shade and this color is called Musk very light um, shade doesn't show up very well on the eye and then I'm going to go in with this color it's more of a goldy shade it's called Nefriti and I'm going to use a flat brush and just blend it from the inner corners to the middle of my eye and this is going to give me the gold um, shade that I'm looking for. I'm then going to use the shade Angelic on my whole eyelid. And I'm going to apply this with my finger because I feel it applies much better. And this is a more of a pinky, goldy shade. And then I'm going to take my MAC Warm Neutrals palette and go in with this darker pink matte shade. And I'm going to take it along my lash line just because we're going for a rose gold pink toned look it's just going to tie the eyes together and then I'm going to go in with the shade Nefriti again but this time I'm going to go in the inner corners of my eye and the outer corners of my eye and as you can see it makes the eyes stand out and then this is the reason why I do my eyes first before I do my foundation so that I can use a wet wipe and clean up. Then I'm going to take my Inglot gel liner with an angled brush and I'm going to apply it in my waterline. And this is very nice to do even when you are not doing eyeshadow because it immediately makes your eyes stand out and then I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara my favorite mascara at the moment and I'm coating my lashes before I put on some fake lashes 
So I'm taking the eye duo glue and this glue is not good at all. My lashes gave me quite some trouble to apply and put on. And even when they were on, they didn't stay on that well. Um, these are the Clix lashes. But this is a perfect example of how I should have got the original lash glue. Um, and then I move on to foundation and I'm applying my LA Girl HD foundation in the shade Tan. And this is just a perfect match to my skin. I love this foundation. It's so dewy and it really gives you a glow. And then I've been loving the LA Girl Pro Conceal corrector in this peach shade. I really feel that it cancels out my dark circles and I've been using it every day before I use my concealer. So I blend that out with my beauty blender and you can see immediately it blurs any darkness under the eye or pigmentation. It's amazing. And then I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit and I'm going to blend that out and my under eyes are done. And then just to set my concealer I'm using my Essence Banana Powder, Brighten Up Banana Powder and um, then I'm just going to lightly brush it off just so that my concealer lasts throughout the day and then I'm using my NYX Matte Bronzer and my Avon Contour Brush. I'm going to lightly contour the sides of my face. This is also one of my favorite bronzers. I never used to use bronzer, but once I discovered it, I use it all the time. I don't know how I lived without it. And um, I'm also taking this very flat brush and I'm using it to contour with my bronzer down my nose. I'm just taking a little bit of the bronzer and I am on the brush and I'm drawing a subtle line down the bridge of my nose with the bronzer and uh, then I'm taking some of my Age Rewind Maybelline concealer and putting a little bit uh, just a very tiny bit on the center of my nose and then I'm just blending that out and then my Huda Beauty 3D Golden Sands Highlighter. I'm taking the shade Fiji and I am putting it on my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose. This highlighter is amazing. I can't even describe it. It is so outstanding. It just gives your face such a wonderful shine. And then I'm going to take the next shade um, and I'm going to go over it. And I think it's Seychelles, but I will leave everything in the description box. And I'm going over my nose and my cheekbones again. And then I'm taking this, lastly, this pink blush shade. And I'm just applying a little bit um, on my eyes, just to give it that shine and that gold. And I'm also applying it to the tip of my nose, just to give myself a flushed, pink, healthy skin look. Also applying it a little bit to my cheeks. I find that the shade doesn't really show, the pinkness doesn't really show up so well on my skin. But when I applied it to my nose and my eyes, it was beautiful. Just applying some of the Seychelles color on my Cupid's bow. And then lastly, I think it's Tahiti. The bronzing shade in the palette, I'm going over my contour with the bronzer. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Liner in Trophy Wife. Just lining my lips and then I'm filling it in. This is also a very barby pink color. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Trophy Wife on top. As you can see, it's very bright. I didn't even apply two coats. That's one coat. So I'm going to take my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy, which is a very nude pink pink nude shade and i'm going to lighten this lipstick up a bit and then i'm using the lip strobe by huda beauty in snobby 
and I'm applying that just to give my lips a gloss and then I'm putting on my earrings to finish the look off and taking down my hair and I've just lightly curled my hair with the GHD today just to create some light waves so that is the final look guys I hope you enjoyed it these shades are really really soft and subtle um, today I put on some fall tees and they were giving me a bit of trouble but let me know if you'd like to see a video on how to um, apply fall flashes because it it can be a struggle so let me know and I will help you through it and yes don't forget to share my videos like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for many many more uh, makeup tutorials I will see you soon bye